Here's the next multiple choice question from the AP Calc AB test preview through Blue Book. So they give us this implicitly defined equation here. So y is not isolated, and they're asking us for dy dx. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an assumption. We're going to assume y is a function of x, and we're going to take the derivative implicitly. The derivative of x cubed is pretty straightforward. Now, how you handle this next piece can potentially make or break whether or not you get the right answer here. I copied the subtraction in right after the 3x squared, right, the derivative of x cubed. And then what I saw in this spot here is 2x times y. Well, if I'm assuming y is a function of x, 2x times y is a product. So I'm placing that entire product rule in a set of grouping symbols being affected by that subtraction or that negative that I copied as the sign between terms. So subtract off the entire product rule. The derivative of 2x is 2. Original second piece plus original first piece. Derivative of y with respect to x is dy dx. And then when you assume y is a function of x, what you have going on in this position is an outside function, 3, something squared, and an inside function, y. So if I do the derivative of the outside function, I'd multiply the 3 by the 2. I'd subtract 1 from the exponent. I would have the inner function copied here. And then I'd finish that chain rule by multiplying by the derivative of the inner function. And then don't forget to do the derivative of this value on the other side. Whenever the derivative on the other side of the equal sign is pretty straightforward, that's actually something I see people miss quite a bit of the time. Derivative of 7 is 0. Now I need to try to isolate dy dx. So I'm going to start by distributing my negative in. Uh, so both of those terms from the product rule now have negative coefficients. And I want to isolate dy dx. So I'm looking at these answer options, and what catches my eye is that every single one of them has a positive 3x squared within the numerator. So as I started to get ready to do my algebra here, I said, I want to keep this 3x squared positive. So I left the 3x squared where it was. I left the minus 2y where it was. I added this term to the 0, and I added this term, or excuse me, I subtracted this term from that other side. I can then factor dy dx from those two terms on the right side of the equation. I can then undo that multiplication by dividing by this set of parentheses, and we end up with option B.